Okay, so this is an, an, an addition to my adjustment of the chain. Clearly, now everything's dried off. I cleaned it a little, like a, a couple of days ago. Um, now everything's cleaned off and dried off. The chain looks like crap. So I'm gonna give it a quick clean and a quick spruce up, give it some um, lube. Just gotta go get some bits out of the, uh, out of the shed. Typical, I've run out of Motul, Motul 1 or whatever it's called, um, chain cleaner. So instead I've got a little bit of soapy water. And you're literally just gonna rub the chain. It's as simple as this. Give it a good scrub. The rust that you see will be surface rust. That's all it is. It's nothing detrimental. It's not going to affect anything. It's just where it's been exposed and the coatings come off. It's, um, it's got surface rust on it. And that'll be protected by the chain spray or chain lubrication. Chain lubricant, shall we say. And this is nothing fancy in here. This is just a bit of soapy water because I ran out of chain cleaner. The chain cleaner is good because it breaks down any build up of road gunk and stuff, but I haven't really been doing any road riding like anything special. I rode on the dirt, so it's got mud and stuff in it, and then it's got soap out of the. Well, actually, I didn't use soap at the jet wash, I just used water. And it has been jet washed a couple of times because, as you've seen from the last video, I jet washed the bike straight afterwards. But then in the winter, it's really hard to drive a bike. So anyway, do this process for a little while until you get all the crap off. And if you're gonna be using this regularly and you're gonna be riding off-road regularly, and this might cause a bit of upset with people, I personally don't think that you need to worry too much. As long as it's lubed, then in my opinion, it's fine. Now what you're looking for is the bit that was wet last time. And you get back around. If it's already shiny, you can mark it off of your uh, split fin if you've got one. But if you haven't got one, you can't. And that is looking much better. Okay. How's that clean? Get yourself some tissue. And whichever way the chain is rolling, hold your tissue onto the chain. And it'll take off some of the gunk. What you don't want to do is put it here and then start winding it in. If you're going to do it this way and put it up here, hold it on your chain, roll your chain that way. Because otherwise you'll roll your fingers into your sprocket. And that will be an uncomfortable experience for you. Oh, look at all that crap. Me dump. Next one. Ugh. Give it a give it a shake. This is Putaline DX11 chain spray. I got this with the bike. The kind people up at Motorbike Hut, who I bought it from, gave me a can of this, a can of wax spray for the bodywork, and some other stuff as well, which I haven't used, but I have used this, and it's quite good. It's non-fling, so you'll see when it goes on. And be careful with it. Just give it a spray. You don't want to get it all over your brakes and your wheels and everything. Just give it a little spray. Wind it round. I'll show you a little bit in a minute when I've um, coated the whole chain. And the important bit is to get the mead link, all the links together. This outer surface, yeah, you get surface rust on it, but if that gets a bit dirty and a bit messy, who really cares? It's not a fashion show, it's a, ut it's a utility vehicle. Yeah, it's quite cool the way that it sort of uh, it gums up. It looks like spider webs. You get a lot of people that just start spraying this and spinning the wheel. I'm not one of them. It's not that I'm really tight or anything, it's just that I don't see the point of wasting all of that material. And if Pootaline's sales figures go down a bit, well, you know what? That's not really my fault. I've got a feeling we're back at the beginning. Because it looks shiny. It's a good idea to start at the link. Yep, we're back round. Right, that's that done. One chain lubricated. Important. Put a bit of cardboard down if you're doing it on your patio. If you're doing it on your grass, not such a big deal. Right, have a look. 
back in there, see if you can see the little uh, spindly tail coming out of it. Short of a deep clean, yeah, short of a deep clean of the bike, we're pretty much done. Everything's good on it. I mean, you can see there's still some uh, legacy mud in there. Down the pipe, for example. And there's still a little bit of crap inside the chain, but... Other than that, it's only going to go out and get muddy again, so I'll give it a clean and get all the important stuff out that I can, but I'm not going to spend three hours cleaning a bike that's going to get covered in mud the next time I used it. No. It's my philosophy with pants, too. Love you. Bye.